Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will help you upgrade your Windows 10 to Windows 11. But first, if you are new to my channel, be sure to click like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification for more tutorial videos like this. To upgrade your PC to Windows 11, here are some quick steps on how to do it. First of all, we have two options. I'll teach you first the first option and then we will go to the next option. Okay, for this option, First, uh, this is the simplest method you need to do first is to make sure you have enough space on your computer when installing Windows 11. And please make sure that your Windows 10 is activated or genuine before doing this step. Most likely you need at least to have 5 to 8 gigabyte uh, free space on your hard disk. and if you have that space or you don't have the space, you can make space by doing backup of your files. It is a best practice to move your files into a safe location. If you have portable devices, you can copy or you can cut and paste your files to your portable device to make sure that whatever happens during the installation, your files are safe. Now, if you already did that, another step is to perform Windows Update on your computer to make sure that everything is updated first before performing this upgrade. And after that, you will the Windows will tell you to restart. Now, go ahead and restart your computer. Now, after the restart, you can click again the check for update and during this update, Windows will tell you if your PC is eligible for an upgrade or not. It is because um, it is uh, checking your hardware for compatibility. If your hardware is not compatible to be upgraded on Windows 11, you will know. But if your computer is, uh, if your computer is eligible for Windows update, it will uh, Windows update will tell you that you can go ahead and perform the upgrade. All you have to do is click on the download and install uh, option. Now after you click that you have to wait for the entire process to complete. Normally it will depend on the speed of your internet and the speed of your hardware. Let me remind you to be patient while uh, doing this process because it will really take some time for downloading, verification, and installation. Now once it is already downloaded, uh, the software will verify your download and after verification, the installation will now proceed. Now, as I said before, installation will depend on the speed of your internet and of your hardware. Normally, uh, in my case, uh, this process took about an hour. I have a 30 Mbps internet speed. I have a 500 gigabyte SSD and then 32 gigabytes of RAM. So for me, the process took uh, somewhere between 45 to 1 hour. But again, it will depend on your hardware. Now, once the installation is complete, you can see now that your Windows will boot to Windows 11. And that's the quickest and the simplest way to do it. Now, you can verify the operating system by browsing onto the computer uh, looking on the properties and checking and you can check now if your version has been upgraded to Windows 11. Also by looking here you can also check if your Windows 11 is also activated. As I reminded earlier you need to be genuine your Windows operating system needs to be genuine before you can do this process or otherwise during the installation or after the installation Windows 11 will ask you for a product key which you don't have or if you have you can input it or you can buy uh, on a legitimate store. Now moving on 
uh, we will do the option 2 which is uh, external tool method now to do this again you have to prepare your computer by checking if you have enough space on your computer and also like what we did earlier we need to perform backup on your computer uh, by moving your files on the available space of your drive or on the other uh, drive or on your portable drive once you move your files or backed up your files now it's time to perform window window it's time to perform the windows update to make sure that all the pre pre prerequisite uh, patches are installed before proceeding now once uh, you completed the windows update your computer will restart and on this uh, option you can now start to download the PC Health Check. You have two software there. The link, I will post it down on the description. You can go ahead and download there. And then after you download it, you run the PC Health Check app. It will help you determine if your hardware is qualified uh, for Windows 11. Now, if your hardware is not qualified, it will stop there and you will not install you cannot install windows 11 but once it's qualified you have to perform again another windows update to make sure that all uh, system requirements are met and from there you just have to wait for it to install and you will restart your computer again now once it's restart uh, once restarted you can now run the windows 11 assistant tool and from there, it will check again for another update so that uh, it will uh, verify or it will check if you have the prerequisites needed. And once completed, it will perform another restart and the downloading of the installation file will proceed. Now, download will take some time. And after downloading, it will uh, verify the file and perform now the installation again this process will also take some time because of the download uh, it, because it will perform the download and then it will also perform the verification and the installation it will also depend on your hardware now as i said before i have i7 uh, processor i have a ssd hard disk i have 32 megabits of uh, gigab gigabits of RAM a uh, megabits of RAM and uh, it took me somewhere between 45 minutes to one hour in some cases uh, it will take longer than that up to four hours again it will depend on your hardware now be patient during this process but after performing this process your computer will now reboot to Windows 11 you can verify that by looking on the hard uh, on the windows properties of your computer and again if uh, like the prerex told you early, earlier that your uh, operating system should be uh, windows 10 genuine to prevent the system to ask for a license key and if you are if your software is uh, genuine uh, no need to input another key it, the windows 11 will tell you that the operating system is activated and there you have it you have now your windows 11 operating system upgrade for free now if this video is helpful don't forget to click like and subscribe hit the bell notification for more tutorial videos like this again thank you so much for watching i will see you next time and peace